Look, I'm telling you, you broke the zipper. And I am telling you, it was broken when you brought it in. Hey, those are my fat pants. <laughs> that zipper could hold back a charging rhino. Fine. You want it fixed? Mm -hmm. I will fix it. Two weeks, $12. $12? 14. What for? Arguing. Next. Hi, Mr. Papazian. It's so nice to see you. Is your mother feeling better? Much better. <laughs> Thank you for asking, you sweet lady. <laughs> and by the way, I noticed you had a couple of loose buttons, so I stitched them up for you. No charge. You stitched her buttons without charging her? $16. <laughs> Mr. Papazian, please. She's a friend. Okay. Back to 14. <laughs> You're the best. No, you are. <laughs> um, best to the wife. 18. What for? Kissing up. <laughs> All right, Luis. How many men have been president of the United States? A, uh, 41. Good. Now, of all the first ladies, who would you most like to James K. Polk? <laughs> if you know what I mean. Uh, talk, please, no, I, I'm taking my citizenship test. I don't have time for this. I'm sorry, but, uh, would you look at the caboose on that Ida McKinley? <laughs> you know, you, you're not helping. Oh. You know, I've dreamed of being a citizen for five years and I've studied for months and I'm so nervous. You know, everything is a complete jumble. I mean, the president, the house, the Supreme Court. In Cuba, there's only one answer, Castro. <laughs> Please, I hate to see you suffer like this. I'll tutor you. You? Yes, I love American history. I majored in it. And by the time we're finished, you'll be able to load your own musket. <laughs> Jack, I'm so touched that you care enough to help me to study when you could be at home enjoying quality time with your lovely wife. This has nothing to do with me, does it? Not a thing. I accept. All I'm saying is that if you want to get on somebody's good side, it's probably a bad idea to start a sentence off with bite me. Okay, first of all, bite me. <laughs> Second of all, it's a lot easier to have a positive attitude when you look the way you do. Makes no difference. I would have the same attitude no matter how I look. Well, we'll never really know, will we? Because you'll always be beautiful. <laughs> right, Sue. Except, of course, near the end when old women all start looking like Fred Mertz. Look, I am not denying that looks count in this society. All I'm saying is that character is just as important. Ha! Ha! What? I think what Vicky means is uh, with that face, you could have the personality of Cruella de Vil and... People would still say, what's a big deal? It's just a coat. Well, I am sorry that I can't have some sort of terrible tractor accident to prove you all wrong. Well, the day is still young. Jack, I, I can't do it. Come on, it is an easy way to remember it. I'm just a bill. Yes, I'm only a bill. <laughs> I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill. And I go to the president, and he signs me. I become a law. Everybody loves me. Can I stop now? Well, what if the president vetoes you? Then you need a three-quarters vote in Congress to override. No, correction, it's two-thirds. Uh, three-quarters is the number of states needed to ratify an amendment to the Constitution. Oh, well, then they must have changed it. Not in the last 210 years. <laughs> Luis, nobody likes a smart-ass alien. <laughs> what happened to your neck? Yoga class. Cute new instructor. I kundalinied when I should have astonged. <laughs> Let me get that for you. Don't touch me, don't touch me! Ooh, touch me. Touch me in the morning. Where'd you learn to do this? Oh, my parents went to the Esalen Massage Institute. The summer Barbara Siegel went back to being Barbara Hershey. Oh, baby, that's it right there. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, sweet mother. Oh. <laughs> wow. What? Do I have something in my teeth? Huh? <laughs> Let me guess. You saw it in the window and you just had to have it? <laughs> you just threw down a challenge. I just picked it up. 
I didn't tell you to put it on your face. It's amazing. It better be. It cost almost as much to put that one on as it did to take Margot's off. Don't worry, Jack. You're going to get a great article out of it. I am going to wear this day and night for a week to prove that people will treat me with the same courtesy and respect that they always have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make it 1,800 words and funny. Well, to see something like this, one usually has to pay 25 cents and walk into a tent. Go ahead. Take your shots. I don't care what I look like. Good. <laughs> the point is, I'm the same person I always was, and that's not going to change. Now, my only problem is my real nose itches, and I don't know how to get to it. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, people, I would like you to meet Elliot Spencer, our accountant. Hey, Elliot. How you doing? And me without my 1040 easy form. <laughs> Elliot's going to be here for a week reviewing the books. <laughs> just a week? This week? You have a problem with that? No. <laughs> no. I just, I just want to make sure that Elliot here has uh, enough time to do what he's got to do. Susan is always so concerned about others. It's one of her best features, although not her biggest. <laughs> Thank you. You know, it's so nice to finally put faces to the expense reports. Oh, I have an idea. Susan, why don't we invite Elliot to join us for a nightly after work drink? Oh, are we still doing that? Nightly! <laughs> oh, great, sure, why not, huh? That'd be nice, thank you. Come on, Elliot. Let's go in there and put our noses to the grindstone. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? I I'm thinking that this nose is not big enough. No. No, no, not big enough, so I'm going to do it next week, you know, and add a double chin, maybe a matching goiter, really prove my point. No, 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 no. You are doing it this week. The week that our books are being done by the world's only certified public Adonis. <laughs> you think I'm doing this because of him? I'm only doing this for the sake of the article. Besides, I think this one's getting loose. Hey, hands off the honker. <laughs> Listen, you, when someone really has a schnoz like that, they can't just take it off whenever they feel like it. It's the last thing they see when they go to sleep at night and the first thing they see when they wake up in the morning. So stock up on Fruit Loops, my little toucan. Class starts now! <laughs> All right, fine. You're saying that as long as I'm wearing this, I don't have a snowball's chance in hell with that guy? That's what I'm saying. Well, me and my nose are saying you're wrong. All right, me and 20 bucks are saying I'm right. You're wrong. By the end of this week, with the force of my wit, personality, and intellect, he will ask me out. You guys want a piece of this? Oh, absolutely. My money's on Shushan. Me too. Ha! Oh. <laughs> okay, we can give us our money back. No way! <laughs> I don't want to alarm you, but I think that drink had an umbrella in it a minute ago. <laughs> Hi. Uh-huh. Hello. Hello. Well, let's see. That's four for Vicky and O oh for Carl Malden. <laughs> Keep them coming, Red. I'm going to sneeze that little umbrella right into your forehead. <laughs> oh, here he is. Here he is. <clears throat> Elliot. Hey. Hi. Come on, sit down. Sure. We've so been looking forward to spending time with you. <laughs> Haven't we, Susan? Yes, we have. <sighs> so, Elliot, most people think that accounting is boring, but I bet you have some fascinating stories. My God, I wish that were true. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> no uh, embezzlements or hidden Swiss bank accounts or twisted tales of tax evasion? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> there was that time I thought a nine was a four. <laughs> <laughs> so what finally happened? I realized it was a nine. No. <laughs> oh boy, that was funny, and you thought you weren't interesting. <laughs> I think he just moved my cocktail napkin. Listen, I'm get a drink. Uh, can I get you two anything? Oh, I'll have whatever you're having. <laughs> Sabotage all you want. I think it's going very well. Oh, Susan, Susan, Susan. So innocent, so dear, so but ugly. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. Oh, good, you're here. My neck is killing me. Start rubbing. Vicky, 
I can't work in a bar. I mean, if you want me to do this right, got to do it at my home. Use my own table. You have a table? 50 bucks. 20 bucks and a bag of chips ahoy. Done. <laughs> well, Suze, what happened? You never showed up? Oh, he showed up. And he's interested. He's interested, all right. Not in you. <laughs> so he's talking to the cocktail waitress. Big deal. So she's beautiful. So what? So she's writing her name, number, and what she wants for breakfast on a cocktail napkin. <laughs> just a minor glitch. I'll just have to be more effervescent. If you were any more effervescent, your head would shoot off your neck. <laughs> Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice you from across the room. Oh, really? My name's Byron. Hi, Byron. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Susan. I hope this doesn't sound too forward, but you have great bone structure. <laughs> Underneath all that. <laughs> if you ever consider the benefits of plastic surgery, I want you to give me a call. <laughs> Come in for a free consultation. You don't have to live this way. Ooh, and he's a doctor. <laughs> Would you like to sit down? <laughs> Hello. Aren't you handsome? You have a big nose. <laughs> so, are you and your mommy here buying apples? It's really big. <laughs> Bigger sideways. Listen, Squirt, it's what's on the inside that counts. And don't you forget it. <laughs> Men, you're all alive. <laughs> that was a thorough massage. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't tell me, I know this one. Fillmore. No. It's Coolidge, Calvin Coolidge. Grover Cleveland. Damn! This is really hard. I know I got this stuff in my head somewhere. Uh, ask me another one. I thought I was the one taking the test. Come on, come on, hit me, lightning round. Supreme Court justices. Reinquist. Scalia. Suter, O'Connor, Donner, Blitz, and Flex. <laughs> you know them or not? I don't even know the freaking reindeer. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Excuse me, yeah. uh, I have to go get something from uh. somewhere. <laughs> What's wrong with your neck? Yeah. Nothing, just got a gigantic knot in it. Actually, it's more like a knot with a little neck in it. <laughs> Jack, can I uh, talk to you in your office? For a sure. <laughs> Somebody has a bit of a sweet tooth today, huh? So? So? <laughs> Vicky. What? You have had sex recently. <laughs> No, I have. Haven't? Uh, yes, you have. Don't worry, you beat it out of me! <laughs> I slept with Todd. Todd? <laughs> Todd, Todd. Our Todd? It gets worse. It was the best sex I ever had. <laughs> Todd. <laughs> Todd, Todd. <laughs> Our Todd. Vicky? Vicky, Vicky, hard Vicky. It just happened. One minute I was giving her a massage. Next thing we're on the floor, knocking over the lava lamp and totally freaking out my cat. I know how he feels. I just feel so sorry for the cat. Will you forget about the cat? What am I gonna do? 
He made breakfast for me. You know what that means? Fruity pebbles and chocolate milk? No! He's probably in love with me now. Well, is that such a bad thing? Luis, we're talking about Todd. Although, he did have this one move. It was like something out of Cirque du Soleil. Really? Yeah. I don't know how he did it. I think he's missing some bones. I am telling you, it is not a good idea to sleep with someone you work with. I know that. I, it, there's just one problem. Uh, what? It's the kind of unbridled passion I've only dreamt about. Or rented. <laughs> What should I do? I'm sorry. At this point, I'm just watching your mouth move. I haven't heard a word you're saying. I'm just gonna have to let him down easy. Now remember, easy. Hi. Hi. I don't think... Me either. Cool. Cool. I've got to... Uh, Me too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> what are you staring at, four eyes? <laughs> Having a bad morning, are we? Oh, no. I just love being chased down the street by a group of teenagers screaming, look, Klinger's back from Korea. <laughs> I knew you couldn't hack it. It's only been two days. You may have the nose of an ugly woman, but you don't have the spine. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not done yet. <clears throat> Hi, Elliot. Hello. You know, I really enjoyed our conversation the other night. Me too. But uh, it's funny, you don't seem like the kind of guy who would go for a one-night stand with a tacky cocktail waitress. <laughs> He'd probably just steal your watch. What? Oh, come on, Elliot. Don't you want more substance, huh? Something more than just a pretty face? Someone you can talk to? I... I, uh, I thought so. <laughs> what do you say we have dinner? Or we say Friday? Uh, I can't Friday. Saturday? I'm out of town. When are you back? Tuesday. What well, Tuesday it is? You know, I'll probably be tired. What about Wednesday morning breakfast? Uh, I don't eat breakfast. What about lunch? Everybody eats lunch. You gotta eat lunch. <laughs> you know, maybe we should just play it by ear. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, I'm not waiting by the phone for you, you shallow, small-nosed pretty boy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm ugly and I'm mean. <laughs> I'm turning in my nose. What am I supposed to do with it? Use it as a car cover? <laughs> you were supposed to last a week. Yeah, well, I didn't need a week. I've already got my story, although it's not the one I wanted to write. Jack, did you hire me because of the way I look? There's really no safe way for me to answer that, is there? <laughs> Come on, Jack. Did my looks play a part in your hiring me? Well, I would be lying if I said it didn't. Oh, that's just great. What? I hired you because of your writing. Your writing is based on your perceptions. Your perceptions are colored by the way you look. It is all connected. I hired it all, and it all works. So you wouldn't have hired me if I had that nose? No way. <laughs> it's called injustice. Go write about it. I hate you. Write about that. <laughs> Listen, Susan, I have to... What happened to your nose? I took it off. This is my real one. Oh. Well, if there's any question, I'd go with this one. Thank you. Can I ask you something? No. I cannot and will not have dinner with you now. I was just going to ask you why you were wearing a fake nose. Oh. Well, it's for an article I'm writing, but I still won't go to dinner with you. I wasn't going to ask you. <laughs> because if my fake nose was not good enough for you, then what? I don't care what kind of nose you have. I don't want to have dinner with any of them. There is a God. <laughs> Susan, this has nothing to do with the way you look. Frankly, you're just a little pushy. But, but that wasn't my real personality. <laughs> See, I was just overcompensating to try to get your attention, you know? I'm, I'm really quite charming. <laughs> See? There's that pushy thing again. But Susan, the right guy is bound to be out there for you. Good luck. But, but I, I'm lovely and charming. Sure you are, loser. I didn't lose. 
He didn't reject me because he didn't like the way I looked. He rejected me because he didn't like my personality. So I win. Sorry. <laughs> right here. Rejection sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know, I'm 60 bucks ahead on this deal. You and I are a couple of hot foxes. What do you say we go out on the town and do some damage? You're on. You know, Vicky, I never consciously traded on my looks. I know. <laughs> but I will now. <laughs> That's my girl. Well, wish me luck, everyone. I'm off to become a citizen. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. I'm telling you, we should have crammed more. We'll be fine, Jack. Just relax. How can I relax? You're taking a citizenship exam, and there's so much I don't know. Oh, we know enough. How many electoral votes does it take to win the presidency? Uh, uh, 270. How often has the incumbent president lost an election? I can tell you, not often <laughs> enough. Senator Dole, well, it is an I honor to meet you, sir. Uh, for me as well, this, I'm a great admirer of your long record of, of public service. Not to mention your, your delightfully self-deprecating appearance on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Uh, so what uh, brings you to San Francisco, sir? Well, I'm doing some uh, radio spots for the Red Cross. Uh, thank goodness Elizabeth kept her day job. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, if it's any consolation, I, I have family in, in Miami that uh, voted for you. Well, I wish you'd had more. But, <laughs> <laughs> but if you need any help with that citizenship test, Bob Dole is available for tutoring. <laughs> That's the last time. Absolutely. 